In this quick video, I'll show you how to import your music and playlists from Recordbox into Engine Prime. Once imported into Engine, I'll show you how to prepare your hot cues, loops, user profile, and then transfer everything to your media device. Once prepped and transferred, you'll have access to your Recordbox collection directly on Den & DJ's Prime Series media players. To get started, open Recordbox. Navigate to the file menu and click Export Collection in XML format. Next, name your XML and save to your Documents folder. After the file has been saved and exported, we can close Recordbox. Now let's open Engine Prime. Once Engine is open, we need to ensure the Recordbox integration is enabled. Open the preferences by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner. Next, click the Library tab. From here, we want to ensure the Recordbox library integration is set to on. This only needs to be enabled once, as this preference is recalled each time you open Engine Prime thereafter. Once confirmed, we can close the Preferences menu by clicking anywhere outside the window. Now that we've enabled the integration, we can import the Recordbox collection into Engine Prime. From the Library Collection area, click the Recordbox icon. This is where you'll see all of your music and playlists once they've been imported. To import or update this library, click the words Update Recordbox Library from the bottom. After clicking Update, a Finder or Explorer window will open. From here, you'll need to locate and open the Recordbox XML we just exported. Depending on the size of your collection, this process will vary from a few seconds to a few minutes. To check the status, you can open the job monitor from the lower right corner. The job monitor window is where you'll find progress on library updates, playlist imports, file transfers, and more. Once completed, you'll have access to all of your music, playlists, and hot cues. Now that we can see our record box playlists, let's convert them to Engine Prime format. To do this, click and drag the playlist into the crate or playlist area. You can also right click and choose import as playlist or import as a crate. When the files are imported, you may notice track analyze progress at the bottom of the application. By default, all new music is automatically analyzed for BPM, Beatgrid, and Musical Key on import. You can disable this option from the Library tab in the Preferences menu. When set to off, music will not be analyzed until it has been loaded to the deck for the first time. Once analyzed, the performance data is stored and immediately recalled when the track has been loaded again. Alright, now that we've converted a few playlists, let's quickly prepare a track. First, load a track to the deck by double-clicking a song from the list. You can also click and drag the song and drop it right onto the deck area. In some cases, your tracks will already have hot cues in place. This is because they were imported during the Recordbox collection update. To prep quickly, you can use the beat jump function and place hot cues throughout the beat grid at different areas of the track. You can right-click on any hot cue button to name and color based on your workflow. Once you set your hot cues, Switch to loop mode by clicking the loop button to the right of the hot cue button. From here, set your desired loop region and click any one of the eight available save loop buttons. Just like hot cues, you can right click on any save loop button to rename and set the color. Once your music has been prepped, you'll need to transfer and pack the music to your media device. To do this, insert your SD or USB media into your computer. You will then see the device listed under the device area. To the right of the media device name, you will see three icons. The first of which is a circular icon with an arrow. This is the database sync icon. This allows you to sync changes you've made on the media players back to the software. In this case, the icon is unavailable since there are no changes to sync. The second icon is the user profile. Click this button to access various performance settings to tailor the experience to your workflow. All these settings will be recalled on the hardware once your profile has been loaded. The last icon is used to safely eject the drive once you've finished prepping and packing. All right, now let's pack our crates and playlists to the media device. To do this, click the desired crate or playlist from the collection window and drag it over to the device area. Be sure to drag crates to the device collection and playlists to the device playlist area. To see the packing or transfer status, you can click the job monitor tab from the lower bottom corner. Always be sure the packing process is complete before ejecting your drive. Once you're finished prepping and the music has been packed to the drive, click the eject button to complete the process. Your drive is now prepped and ready for use on the Prime Series media players.